broadcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, a show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, warriors. I'm so excited to announce that my second book, Soul Solutions for Awakening Awareness, has been released. This is the first step I took towards recovery, a powerful initiation into a life of clarity and fearlessness. I teach you how to listen to that quiet voice within, to honor your feelings, and to reclaim the unwavering confidence you once possessed as a child. It's a call to action, an invitation to embark on a path where you are once again guided by your true self. You can find it on my website and on Amazon. Go ahead and get it today. Now on to the show. Episode 201, How to Embrace Your Life Instead of Fearing It. There is always change in life. When your dreams come true, it's simple to embrace life. But what happens when you feel stalled or unsure about your future steps? Are past relationship traumas resurfacing, drawing you away while still affecting how you live and interact with those outside of yourself? Change, difficulty, sadness, loss, and powerful emotions like rage, despair, envy, fear, humiliation, and guilt are all part of life's ever-present teachings, along with beauty, joy, happiness, thankfulness, and blessings. The universe is extending an invitation to dance with everything in life, including you. The longest trip you will have in life is the quest for your true home, the place where you're completely loved and accepted for who you are. If your quest is successful, it will reveal to you that your true home is within yourself. When you accept your one wild and precious life, As late poet Mary Oliver put it, you may be at home wherever you are. People would rather be unhappy than uncertain. According to a recent neuroscience study, your brain registers uncertainty in the same manner as it registers missteps. All you want is for it to be resolved so you can get comfortable again. Accepting things will not always go as planned is the first step toward embracing change and your life. Though terrifying, this idea is also incredibly freeing. Accepting change is actually essential for your personal development and has a significant impact on your level of happiness and success. What kind of life do you want to lead? You cannot, in fact, live every life. You must make a decision, adhere to it, and do your best to live it. The one you select should ideally flow from your knowledge of your true self, your values and your passions, your origins and your desired future, the reasons behind your beliefs and how you want to spend the limited and allotted time you have left to live. It was a hard path for me to embrace my life. Years of concealment were involved as I chose to wear a mask and armor as an attempt to hide myself from others. Luckily, my path also contained a turning point when I realized it was okay to be who I am and that what counts most are the decisions I make about my life. My decision to accept who I am and embrace my life is mostly influenced by how much I respect honesty and sincerity. As I continued on my path, I came to see that I was a multifaceted person who was also a wife a daughter, an aunt, a sister, an author, a podcaster, a life coach, and so much more. I accept and acknowledge that each is but a little portion of the total, and I welcome the life that has emerged from their special combination. How Embracing Your Life Appears Being authentic and eager to stand out from the crowd are two qualities of fully embracing life. When you decide to behave based on your own judgment and values instead of those that may have been given to you without your consent, sometimes even before you were born, you run the danger of facing criticism and rejection from others. 
Hamlet is frequently given the counsel by Polonius, this above all, to thine own self be true, in Shakespeare's play. He continues, and it must come to pass that thou cannot be untruthful to any man as the night follows the day. You will be as genuine with other people as you are with yourself when you accept your life and feel at home in your own skin. Then you won't feel the need to make amends for not living up to someone else's expectations. You will embrace yourself and what you are rather than trying to be someone or something else. And you'll realize that's all you need and it's sufficient for your one life. Accepting where you are on life's path, engaging your success, not by external standards, but by your own, is what it means to embrace your life. Since only you are aware of your starting point, the challenges you have faced, and the pain you have gone through along the way, only you can accurately assess how far you've come. Guidance for Accepting Your Existence by Robert Frost Robert Frost depicts a decision made at the fork in the road in a forest, or perhaps on his life's journey, in his poem, The Road Not Taken. One has to choose to live one way or another, to choose one path over another path. The poet hopes to make it back to the fork in the road in the future. However, understanding how one path leads to another, I question whether I should ever return, he adds. He says he will tell the story of how he encountered that fork and the decision he made, ages and ages hence. He ends, Two paths divulge in the wood, and I, I chose the less traveled one, and that made all the difference. The safest and most welcome place to be is inside your own heart, provided you embrace life. That is what's going to change everything. This is the significance of accepting change. There are few assurances in life. Change, though, is something you can always expect. Although you can't not halt life's difficulties, you can learn to live with change. The reward of embracing change. It's normal to be wary about making decisions that may alter your life. Consistency is pleasant, after all, and the unknown raises more questions than it answers. Just keep in mind that stress is a normal response to stepping outside of your comfort zone while making significant life decisions, and it causes you to feel anxious and worried. However, it's critical to go on and make choices that will enable you to live the greatest imaginable life. In a research study, economist Stephen Levitt of the University of Chicago had participants make significant decisions depending on the outcome of a flip of a coin. In the end, those folks were happy when they actually followed through with the decision. Additionally, individuals who chose not to make the change felt as though they ought to have made the change. Although tossing a coin doesn't always result in the greatest option, developing gut instinct and embracing fear of the unknown situations boasts self-assurance and contentment. Growth requires change, and this reward eases the leap of faith. You'll advance both professionally and personally and create new chances for more meaningful connections. The accumulation of all that ongoing education might raise your self-esteem. Your self-belief will increase as you become more aware of your positive evolution, which will enable you to accept a change in the future. Transforming your life. Turn your life around and transform it into the best version of yourself. Because life is such a roller coaster, sometimes the wonderful news you hear today turns out to be bad news later on. Occasionally, you may experience a new high or a moment that breaks through the roof, but other times you could feel as though you're plunging further and further into hell. Even though these situations might be extremely difficult, they provide priceless chances to trust life and foster learning and personal development. Here are seven strategies to transform life's most challenging times into chances for significant growth and development. Most of your difficult times may actually be lessons in disguise. You may position yourself to never truly lose in life if you work at this mentality change, as if your life depended on it. 
which it does. Number one, accept adaptability to embrace life. The capacity to overcome hardship and maybe get stronger in the process is known as resilience. It's a basic characteristic that allows you to use the most difficult times in life as teaching opportunities. Even if it may be tough, you may choose to embrace resilience when faced with challenges rather than giving in to hopelessness. This entails realizing your own inner fortitude and the will to overcome obstacles. You probably already know you can do it again since you've done it before. What is something you've mastered that you previously doubted your ability to do well? Facing hardships forces you to face your doubts and concerns, which frequently exposes your actual resilience. Every time you go through a trying period, you strengthen your resilience and become more capable of overcoming obstacles in the future. You can adjust and prosper amid hardship when you recognize and value your resilience. Number two, seize the chance to think back and examine yourself. Examining and reflecting on oneself is necessary to turn the most difficult times in life into teaching opportunities. When you run across problems, you need to stand back and pose hard questions to yourself. What caused the current circumstance? From it, what can you infer? How can it help you grow? By thinking back on your experiences, you gain insightful knowledge and wisdom. Even the worst things that happen to you have the potential to grow into gifts and sources of strength and knowledge if you learn, find meaning, understanding, and insight from them. If you don't let it happen again, the lesson is probably not that expensive. You could notice your own prejudices, blind spots, or places in need of development as you reflect. Self-awareness is an essential and potent tool for human development. You can all become more compassionate people and make better judgments by owning up to your errors and learning from them. Number three, embracing life means developing empathy. The difficulties you face in life frequently expose you to the pain of others. Having personally experienced adversity can increase empathy and compassion for those facing comparable challenges. This increased capacity for empathy may inspire a desire to lend a hand and encourage those in need. If I had never had problems, I am sure I wouldn't be a good life coach since I wouldn't understand my clients' needs or how they feel. It may be very satisfying to turn your suffering into a chance to develop stronger connections with other people. Besides helping others, when you lend your understanding and support, you also give your own life meaning and fulfillment. Number four, develop your ability to solve problems. Ironically, if you had no challenges to solve, life would be immensely un uninteresting and perhaps pointless. You are frequently forced to exercise critical thought during trying times and come up with answers to challenging issues that you otherwise wouldn't. Or you might view these difficulties as chances to hone and improve your problem-solving abilities. You are forced to consider alternative viewpoints, look for original ideas, and make well-informed judgments when you face challenges. So you would never know your true potential and would waste a lot of time if there were no hurdles in your way. When you actively solve problems during difficult times, you improve your ability to confidently and competently handle challenges in the future. These abilities benefit both your personal and professional development and apply to a variety of facets of your life. Number five, reassess priorities. Adversity has a power to rearrange your priorities and make it easier for you to tell what's important and what's not. The hardest times in life might make you reassess your ideals, objectives, and ambitions. You may come to the realization that some of your prior goals were not in line with your true self. You may choose more purposeful lives if you take advantage of these times to reevaluate priorities and perspective. A life that is more in line with your basic beliefs and aspirations may result from doing this. Number six, recognize the highs and lows as you embrace life. 
Just as there is no heat without cold, there is no darkness without light. You couldn't truly enjoy being happy, successful, and your accomplishments if there weren't any challenging ones. These difficult moments give your experiences depth and perspective, which not only makes the highs feasible, but also more significant. In this vein, choose to be grateful that you had an experience since it helps you to appreciate your blessings more in the here and now. Number seven, think for yourself and be confident. Because it might make you feel as though you are losing your actual identity, change can occasionally be quite frightening. And when you evaluate yourself against other people, it just gets worse. You look at other people and attempt to determine whether you are doing okay, depending on how they are doing. This is something you cannot stop. It's in your DNA. But you put your objectives ahead of yourself and stop comparing yourself to other people. It will make it much simpler to embrace change. You should only evaluate all innovations you have to go through in light of who you are now. Moving forward, embracing life. Acknowledge and embrace change. You too may explore the amazing possibilities life offers. Accepting change, no matter how small or big, is an investment in your own development and happiness. Change may be a barrier to self-improvement, but it can be made easier by acknowledging your beliefs, establishing specific goals, and enlisting the support of your tribe. Even though it may seem impossible to overcome, life's most arduous experiences have a purpose. They offer significant chances for development, education, and self-discovery. Adversity may be navigated and turned into teaching opportunities by adopting resilience, self-reflection, empathy, problem-solving techniques, and a reevaluation of priorities. When you see the obstacles in life as chances to grow and learn, you give yourself the ability to become stronger, kinder, and wiser. By doing this, you discover there's always room for improvement and the chance to transform suffering into strength even during the most difficult circumstances. Gaining proficiency in that ability is akin to having superpowers. Whether or not you like it, everything around you is ever-changing. The world is always changing because of societal shifts and technological advancements, but it is crucial to remember you are all constantly changing. Even with this understanding, though, accepting change is one of the hardest lessons to learn. Change scares many people. Some people view change and innovation as being far too difficult, hazardous, and uncertain. While change is an inevitable and natural aspect of life, it may be extremely difficult to accept. Are you having trouble embracing change? Enhancing your self-worth, cultivating a positive outlook, aiming to accomplish your objectives, and engaging in thankfulness exercises may truly transform your life. Being able to accept a change in your life may make you happier, more self-assured, and more mature. And now is the ideal moment to begin. Do you want a strategy to help you embrace life? If so, please contact me and we could put together an action plan for you to be authentically you and embrace change and live the life you desire. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs.